I'm starting with the eyes first and I'm using Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. As I said in my previous video, this is one of my favorite brow products to use because as the name suggests, it is very precise. And the 2000s were all about thin, precise eyebrows. Next, I'm priming my eyes with P. Louise Eye Base in the shade Rumor. Because we're working with cool tones, we need an even base to ensure these shades do not get too muddy. Now I'm using the Phoebe palette from the Makeup Revolution and Friends collection and I'm going into the shade Bike which is an ice blue shade and I'm dragging that across the entire eye space. I'm actually using three palettes as I don't have a cool toned blue palette on its own so I had to create my own palette of blues. Next I'm going into the Colourpop Frozen Elsa palette and I'm going into the shade Water and using that all over the lid area. By the way, for my face base, I went in with Colourpop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Medium. Now onto the last palette which is the Colourpop So Jaded palette and I'm going into the shade Sapphire just on the outer edges and making sure that it's blended a bit into the crease. Concealer is Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser Concealer on my under eyes and anywhere that I have uneven skin tone. So when researching the 2000s makeup, I was actually appalled because the makeup was um, so bad. It was a lot of cool toned blues and glosses and it was on every celebrity out there and it was not necessarily good for everyone. Blue is such a difficult color to pull off and to find the correct tone for yourself. But uh, yeah, I tried my best here. For eyeliner, I'm using Smudge in Black and I'm lining my waterline. Then I'm going back into the shade Bike and I'm lining my lower lash line with that. So what movies were the 2000s classics guys? My favorite picks are 13 Going on 30, Legally Blonde, Mean Girls, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, Ugh, the list can go on. Then I'm taking an angled brush and taking the shade Sapphire from the So Jaded palette, I'm placing that as close as possible to my lash line. Now I'm using Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I'm trying to get my hands on the Sky High Mascara as well as the Lifter Gloss, but they're not available in my country. I hope they do eventually bring them here. Bronzer, nothing new here. It's Catrice in Medium Bronze. For highlighter, it's Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter. <laughs> That's such a mouthful. I absolutely love this highlighter. It's really intense and pigmented and I love highlighters that you can see from outer space. For blush, I'm using Ofra Cosmetics Blush in Chameleon. Lastly for lip gloss, I'm using L'Oreal Crushed Quartz Lip Gloss. I believe this is the limited edition. I tried looking for it at the drugstore but I couldn't find it anymore and I really loved this gloss.
Well, this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you enjoy this video, please like, share and subscribe and come follow me on my social media. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.